Sounds All like. Right. Um. All right. Cool. So, uh, 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 like that. Uh, there was a great um, thing that went on during uh, Almedalen, um, which is a, a, like it's a meetup for Swedish politicians, where uh, Swedish politicians and politically interested people in um, in the south of of uh, Sweden at an island called Gotland uh, and uh, there was uh, a, a talk there by uh, a person called Kaisa and uh, it was about filter bubbles and it stressed the importance for us to uh, hold dialogue with people rather than just uh, simply focus on uh, on pushing our own opinion and the reason for that being uh, several. Now, uh, one of the first reasons and most important ones, which I find very important in her talk, is because when you just push your opinion, you are more likely to get, uh, you know, you get through to the people who are already uh, interested in what it is that you do. Now, I pasted a link to to her uh, talk or to the TEDx uh, Almedalen talk. Uh, in uh, the comments here and so you can click that and watch that video now what the talk doesn't uh, bring up is uh, about how to actually mechanically work with these uh, filter bubbles now and why you want to know how to mechanically work with the filter bubbles is because you want to know um, how to actually break through uh, and uh, to, re to to connect to more people that might be interested in the same thing as you, but they're not seeing your stuff because Facebook or Google or whoever it is uh, has decided that that content is not relevant to that specific person. So if you want to reach people who might not necessarily already agree with you, in order to start that dialogue, you need to know some tactics. Um, I have written uh, some uh, about this um, and I've recorded some, some videos about this. You can find the, the videos you can find in my online course at uh, viralhack.com. I'll post a link to that as well in the comments. Uh, but if you want to read up on it, you can read up uh, if you go to my uh, English blog, uh, jasperastrom.com, and you search for gatekeepers there you'll be able to find a tactic in which you can move uh, into new filter bubbles. You should probably all also read the full theory where the filter bubbles are one part of it, which is called the index. Uh, it's long, they, they, like these posts are long, uh, but it's because I wanted to sort of, you know, bring as much as possible into them um, all the variations that you might um, yeah, be thinking of and considering. Now, um, the general idea goes that there are some platforms that are indexed and there are some platforms that are not indexed and that that's where the solution lies yeah and so uh, when you're trying to maneuver between uh, indexed platforms and non-indexed platforms it's important to work with behaviors i have a behavioral model called 1990 which is very suitable to do that yeah uh, which essentially means that you co-create content with people who are really interested in you, your brand, your idea, your vision, but they have their own way of expressing it. The more different ways in which a person can express what it is that you want to say, the more likelihood uh, it is that it will end up in front of a new type of person. Meaning you cannot just push your own words, your own ideas, your own like framework, uh, because that will only reach one, like the one and the same group. If you want to reach more people, you got to let more people uh, join in into the creation process of that. Now, uh, so that's the first step. Then you need to put this in front of connectors. Um, so the first, if the first behavior that you're working with is helping you create stuff, the second behavior is helping you spread it. Now, it is important because if you're co-creating with people, 
it is important to understand that uh, you will get into stuff in a complicated way that is not really understandable for other people. Um, and so you will have to accept that the people who are most suitable making this content spread between users will actually make um, amendments to what it is that you say. They will bring out the most important things uh, that you or that they believe are most important. And so you will have to be accepting that your message will be altered along the way. However, your job after you know you brought it in front of these people who are really good at spreading stuff they're communicative they know how to build entertainment they know how to build excitement and things like that they will like recreate your content into like pop the pop music version of what it is that you want to say and so uh, you will have to be accepting of that because and study them and see what it is that they say that people are picking up the thing that people are picking up on uh, it's what I like to call the smallest acceptable truth. The smallest acceptable truth is a truth that is true within one filter bubble. So, for example, if you start talking about you know social equality or something like that, uh, and you do it from a, a definition of, of equal rights where everyone gets an equal uh, opportunity, then that might be suitable in a, a liber liberal uh, filter bubble. And that will be the smallest acceptable truth that will carry your message in that bubble. However, if you go on a more leftist version of it, uh, the smallest acceptable truth of your message might be uh, that equal rights means that everyone should you know, be legally uh, getting the same uh, treatment um, right, uh, or the same benefits or something like that, regardless of how much they put in. And so uh, it is important to understand that once you've co-created with your your uh, your co-creators, people will pick it up, turn it into pop music, and you'll pretty much have to accept that, and that will then carry it through different uh, filter bubbles. These guys I call the gatekeepers because they're the ones who sort of control what is being talked about in within uh, specific uh, filter bubbles. This is a th there is a theory called uh, the majority illusion, which you can Google for. Uh, which helps you understand why these guys are important to actually uh, uh, study and uh, and uh, figure out how they what it is that makes them trigger. One thing that I've found, uh, m like making it, um, uh, m m like w one thing I found that makes them trigger, is the, the 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 notion that they talk about you in a way which benefits themselves. So you should give them some kind of pitch that helps them talk about themselves rather than talk about you. And that's how they will carry it. And then, then the other people, they are probably less and less interested in what you have to say. And so they are further out in that uh, bubble. They're not at the center of the bubble. Uh, now, one great tactic in order to move between filter bubbles is, is to... to um, uh, focus on moving inside and outside the bubble and so for example I usually say that the best strategy for Facebook is not being on Facebook people like sharing stuff on Facebook uh, but when a brand or when an organization creates something um, they create stuff on Facebook like an app or a campaign or a post or an update now as you see, and especially now, since a few days back when Facebook updated their, their feed, those digital things are not necessarily what will get the most attention because it's not really liked by the users. It's not liked to share and it's not liked to, to like, you know, uh, talk about and engage in. What is liked to talk about and engage in are real things, things that happen offline or things that happen in a blog or things that happen outside of the platform that you're on and so uh, Facebook knows this and so in order to for example get a lot of attention on Facebook it might be so that you shouldn't sponsor your post where you write everything up uh, but rather you should write a blog post and then advertise that targeting the people has who have been most active in, spread in spreading your content previously uh, in order to get them to share your post onto onto Facebook from your blog, might sound a bit complicated, but it's really not. 
Um, it's all about giving Facebook a signal that this is not you pushing a message on Facebook, but this is rather an initiative of one of their users uh, using a resource that they found to talk about something that they find important. That will create a lot more value uh, in terms and reach. Um, so uh, this is this is one of the most important uh, aspects that you know the platform that you want to get reached I reach upon if it's indexed such as Google Facebook Instagram etc uh, you should try to create content outside of that uh, platform and then connect with users maybe on the platform or if you have an email list that's even better or a, a phone, like a mobile phone list that's even better uh, connect to them through that um, uh, network and then ask them to share whatever it is that you want to spread onto the, the, the network. Because what happens then just by default is that instead of you, you know, posting within your bubble, what is happening is that like maybe a hundred, maybe a thousand users are posting within their respective bubble. And then bringing the traffic back to a place which is non-indexed, meaning your blog or uh, email send list or uh, forum or whatever it is that you might wanna, wanna use. And then what happens is that uh, as they come to that place, uh, they will have a much more free um, and much more uh, simple way of interacting with each other without these big index platforms uh, taking charge of the discussion. And so the longevity as well of that discussion will m be much more you know, longer because it will not be in a feed and it will not need, you know, the competition or the battle of inbound links or popularity or recency or whatever it is that, that Google uh, now uh, judges their, their search engine result pages on. So simply, I have two posts for you and one uh, course. Um, and this was just a sort of a, a, a fluffer for that. I think that you should strongly advise you to watch Kaisa's talk. Uh, it's a bit uh, further in, I will actually put the timestamp in, in the comments of this video where, when she starts talking. Uh, and then go on to maybe sign up to viralhack.com uh, or uh, to read one of the two blog posts that I also post the links to. And so that's uh, pretty much it. I will be around, I will, not, I will now quit the, the, um, uh, the live feed, but I will be around to answer questions in the comments to this video for maybe a half an hour. And then I will move on to um, finalizing the Facebook reach data for the seven, seven people who have now signed up uh, to that, uh, to share their data and get uh, data back. So I hope that uh, I'll be around and you'll be around to ask some questions and then maybe I'll do another live uh, feed uh, like come the end of day and um, so now I'm gonna post some links and we'll have a little bit of a chat see you